Do you wanna know who those people are and why they're happy? I'll tell you. Hello grade 6 and welcome to this English video lesson. I'm your English teacher and those are my students. Why happy? Because they succeeded. They passed the English test. Not only that, they got great marks. Muhammad got 90%. That's why he's happy. But Ali's mark is higher. He got 95%. That's why he's happier. Ali is happier than Muhammad. Who do you think got the highest mark here, my friends? Yes, exactly. It's clear. The one who is jumping over there on your left. The happiest person here. He got 100%. He's amazing. Take a picture of those great students. Hashtag English heroes. Grade 6 students, do you wanna get great marks like them? Or even greater and higher? Do you wanna be English heroes too? Study English with me. That's it. No more. In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about comparison of adjectives. We'll study many different forms of adjectives, like this and this, and all of these. Alright guys, you might have seen those forms of adjectives that end in ER, like shorter, nicer, and taller. Those adjectives are called comparatives. You might also have seen adjectives ending in EST, like fastest, biggest, and tallest. Those are called superlatives. To start, let's talk about comparatives and superlatives in a little more depth. In comparative sentences, you compare between two things, two people, two animals, or any two objects using adjectives. You could do that by simply adding ER to the short adjective, plus than. However, in case the adjective is long or have two or more syllables, you need to add more or less before the adjective, plus then. Oh no, that's boring, isn't it? You're right, enough grammar talk. Let's jump into some examples. Okay, in this scene, both the red bike and the blue bike are fast, but the red one is faster. So, the comparative sentence here would be like this. The red bike is faster than the blue one. Or, the blue bike is slower than the red one. Notice here, I used two short adjectives, fast and slow. I just added ER to the adjective. So fast became faster. Slow became slower. Okay, here is another example. By looking at this, it seems like the man knows a lot, or he's knowledgeable, but the woman isn't. So we could compare between the man and the woman like this. The man is more intelligent or more knowledgeable or more educated than the woman. Here I used more with the adjectives intelligent, knowledgeable, educated, because those adjectives are long adjectives. They have more than two syllables. Pretty easy, hey? Alright, let me turn your attention to the superlative form. We usually use this to compare between more than two things, two people, two animals, etc. But in this case, we add EST instead of ER to short adjectives, and most instead of more with long adjectives. And most importantly, we use the before the adjective. Example, the plant on the right is tall. The second plant is taller, but the third is the tallest. Another example, it's raining and I am the only one here who has an umbrella. So, I am the luckiest person here. Not always lucky, by the way. Here come the questions. You have three pictures of three animals here. All you need to do is to fill in the gaps in the three sentences above. 
Pause the video now and answer. Then when you're done, you can check your answers. Good luck. Well done, friends. Now check your answers. And here are a few more questions. Fill in the following gaps with the correct forms of the adjectives in brackets. Pause the video now and answer. The correct answers will appear after a while. Now, check your answers. To wrap up, let's take a look at this table. Open your notebook and copy it right now. Got it? Okay then. I hope you now know more than you did when you started watching this video. That was our lesson today, my friends. See you later. Bye.